guys, it's Grassbuck here, and welcome to a new art video. Today it's not a gaming video, it's an art video, and I'm teaching you guys how to make um, H2O, or like, you can call it anything you want, like a uh, uh, 2D meteor uh, 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 design um, in Adobe Illustrator for like all the people that have Adobe Illustrator. So, okay, now let's get started. First, you will have to select uh, um, Eclipse tool. Um, you go here. You go to uh, the. You can choose your like uh, shapes here, and I chose Eclipse tool. And you set the color to white. And as you can see, there's a there's a round. There's a, I mean, there's a circle. That's white. You can drag it wherever you want, so I'm gonna, put it, I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, after that, now you have to select the rectangle tool. And now you can basically choose any color you want, but uh, since yeah, I'm grass block, I, I like blue, so I'm going to use um, a light screen. And now, as you can see, you can see these markings. You just use start from one mark, go to your other mark, go up, and uh, I think this is about the right size. Okay, uh, so as you can see, wait, as you can see the rectangle is in front of a circle. Um, you can actually do a uh, command, uh, for, this is for Mac users, command uh, square back the keys um, moving backwards and you, send, you will send the shape to the back and now let's get, um, uh, now let's start working. So as you, as you can see there are some like uh, particles that fly out of the rectangle. So now um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it. So first, you make a rectangle that is the same color as uh, like uh, the rectangle below. You move it down a bit, and then you hold Option or Alt and drag and make a copy of it. And then we will set this to the background color by clicking by pressing I and click in the background and now we select uh, we'll select these two and hold option and drag it to the side and make a copy but we will need um, we'll need about three uh, two, uh, one more copy there and we will have to copy on our blue one sorry We'll need to copy another blue. Oh, sorry. We'll need to copy another black one and blue. There you go. There's four. And you see that the size is um a bit uh, larger than normal. Just drag it in. It makes it the same size as um the same width or size as the bottom rectangle. Now all you have to do is um, uh, shift click no, wait. before that drag the rectangle up a bit yeah, that's about right and shift click all of the uh, um, like gaps and do command G this is for Mac users and what uh, we just did is grouped the things and um, in a group. I mean, like basically, you group them in a group. And after that, you select this and all of the all of the blue. Um, uh, wait. Um, now you just need to delete the blue stripes that. Uh, sorry, the blue stripes that you made last time. Delete. And after, when you're finished deleting um, the blue stripes, now you just need to uh, hit or select the uh, background and shift click the blue, blue rectangle 
and use Pathfinder. Oh, so if you don't have Pathfinder in your toolbar, just go to Window and Pathfinder, and you can find it there. And what you will do is subtract, which is the second one. And as you can see, these are the area that are gone, and uh, at the end it moves in front. So all I have to do is uh, command. Uh, uh, score back it, square, score back it, scrolling backwards. And there, and now it's behind. And after that, you can zoom in with the second tool. Just need to uh, click one court archer or another archer, and you can drag it around. The holding shifts are straight. Uh, what I want is this to be lower. This to be this to be lower for also and this will be the next. Yeah, perfect. Now you can also drag these as well. I'll drag this a bit more. Perfect. Uh, so now we're going to create some offsets and I'll select the rectangle tool again. Draw from the archer to where you want and drag it upwards. Yeah. Resize it. I'm holding option and iron or alt. Now you have to create another one. There, perfect. So now all you have to do is select the circle, do Control C, Control F, and then as you can see, it just made another copy. Do Alt Shift and drag it wider. But uh, before that, let's make a copy of this. Control C, Control F, drag it down to the side of the circle, and this will be the width on the side, uh, like the width of our circle. So Option Shift. There we go. And I'll do I and select this color and make the color a bit. Um, Done. And then we can delete this rectangle and move this to the back by scrap, uh, command, uh, square back your keys, moving back. There. As you can see, this is at the very back. Now, we just have to create another rectangle. The same color. And move it backwards. Just put it, uh, this should be a bit higher. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a rectangle. Now we're going to um, use some of. Uh, we're going to create some offsets. So, we're going to use some of these. Um, we do uh, Control C, Control F, or I mean Command, and we drag it up a bit, back here, and make it longer. And this can be, uh, yeah, and then select the click, uh, press I, and select the background, and then drag, drag it to the link desired. And make more of these so you can create more. And 
finally the last one. So I got my color. Got the two the very top, just like the others. And move it down. Okay, that looks perfect. Now we just need to select all of these under command uh, command G. And now let's select the back uh, the second layer and then subtract. As you can see the shape moves this shape moves forward. So you just need to do uh, command square back it keys moving. There. And now we can continue in drops offsets. So we the, the second tool. Drag it to Drag it to your Down, you got me stressed so out. Nice so, so, okay, now we're done with the second set. And uh, last but not least, Control C and Command C, and F. Make uh, the last layer first. Control C, Control Command C, Command F, and move it to the side of the circle. And then we can do Option Shift with the other one. Option Shift, make it larger. Now we can change the color. For me, I would want to change the color to the blue. Square bracket, control, command, square bracket, keys going back. And now we can make a rectangle. And we will move it to the top. Okay, starting to look good. And now we move it to the... Whoops. So and now we'll move this to the very back with the same controls. Yeah, it's looking quite good. Now let's add some offsets. So, the second one. I and then we'll move it up all. Okay. We'll make some copies. C, F, C, F. Put some lines. We'll have to draw another rectangle so you can, so you can make it straight. If you don't draw another rectangle, you can just copy but there's a real, uh, there's a high chance that it won't fit flat. There. It's looking quite good. So let's make another one here. With color. Drag it higher. There, it's looking quite nice. Okay, now it's time to make some offsets for the last layer. Uh, we can just control C, control F. to the very top, over lower, and 
need to change uh, the color of your background. Do the same thing again. I control C, control F. And my own cannot do it for this one, so I have to draw my shape. There you now, it's looking quite cool. I like it so far. So okay, um, as you can see, uh, this is not really rounded. Um, for uh, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator CS6 uh, below, this is going to be a bit frustrating. So um, you'll have to use the Eclipse tool. Um, Make, it, make sure to make it the same color as the layer you want. Make it the same size. Select both layers and use the shape finder tool. And highlight the sides and make a rounded area. Uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright, so you can see. We're back, um, I mean, I'm back with the final project. Look how detailed it is. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is Grassball here. And see you guys in the next video.